Hey guys, from Amazing Fishing here. I'm going to be doing a review, just also just showing you these baits, what they look like underwater. Uh, this is a Fishing Frugal Lure Shovelhead Jig, and this is the uh, River to Sea Stand and Yabby 100. So let's get started. So this is the Fishing Frugal Lure Shovelhead Jig. Uh, it's a half ounce in peanut butter and jelly color. I, I love this color. It's a good crayfish imitation, but also it could imitate some bait fish, just like a bluegill, bluegill almost, just just a pretty good color for all around. Um, it's a cool jig head design. Um, this is like probably the most, as unique as it gets for jig heads. Um, this will uh, stand up on the bottom and when you twitch it, it'll bounce up and down and it'll stir up sediment and stuff on rocks um, and just make it look like a feeding crayfish, which is what bass love to eat. Um, this is, you want to fish this around rocks, it's not really, um, good for weeds, more just rocks and, uh, stuff, riprap, just jumping it from rock to rock. It has a pretty nice weed guard, um, it's a nice, nice, uh, skirt as well, not too, uh, not too bulky, but not too skinny, if you flip it over here, um, it's got a nice, uh, bait keeper there, and it's a pretty good hook. Uh, I'm not sure what hooks they use, but it won't bend on you. It's pretty strong. So let's take a look at it underwater. So here it is underwater. Um, it looks really nice. the f The skirt flares out beautifully. Um, when it, even when it's not standing up perfectly, the skirt will come up really nicely like that yeah all around it just looks really nice the skirt looks good the head designs awesome if you if you pop it up like if I can try to get it if you pop it up it'll line perfectly like that so yeah um, I'd use a spade in big boulders small rocks or even gravel like this. It looks awesome. So now let's have a look at the uh, River to Sea Stand in Yabby 100. Alright, so this is the River to Sea Stand in Yabby 100. It's uh, 7 8 ounce, so pretty heavy. I use it in. Uh, medium water to deeper water uh, anywhere from 10 all the way to 30 feet uh, there's a nice nice little crayfish imitation uh, it doesn't have a weed guard or anything and not really meant for weeds or anything so I, I'd fish this on rocks just like the fishing frugal lure shovel head jig that I just showed you guys uh, rocks gravel riprap um, anything where there's not too many snags and uh, I just crawl this thing over, uh, just just really lightly walking it across the bottom. And I'm sure these claws at rest will stand right up. Along with all these little legs, they look great. Really, really realistic bait. Um, it's got cool rivets here, and it also has some appendages here. And uh, I think these are really a really good thing to add in, uh, just because it adds... It has some uh, vibrations in the water, so if you're not fishing perfectly clear water, uh, it'll make a little bit of vibration that the fish can, uh, that it'll help the fish to find it. This is, uh, if I didn't say it already, this is like a green pumpkin watermelon color with uh, black flake. Uh, it's got a good hook, it's a strong hook, and this jig head design is really cool. It comes around and under, so it'll stand up just like that. It has a really good scent to it. Um, yeah, so uh, let's have a look at it underwater. Alright guys, I'm just as excited as I hope you guys are to see this. Um, this looks really, really good. Um, I'm really excited to use this lure. I'm sure I'll just kick kick ass whenever I'm fishing now with this. Um, really, really realistic. And it stands up perfectly. They must have it full with salt because even when it's not... Um, when that jig head doesn't stand properly, it still goes up. 
everything looks good. Um, all the little legs and uh, antennas that it has look awesome. Yeah, um, not, not nothing, nothing bad to say about it. it. Looks really good. The eyes are just more to make it look better. Uh, it just adds to adds to how it looks. It, I'm sure this would be great fishing boulders. Uh, not where there's too many weeds, but I'm sure you could squeak it over some weeds. Um, yeah, this looks really, really good. I'm really excited to try this lure out. I'm sure this would work really well in clear water because uh, it just looks so realistic, right? Um, yeah, you can just make it. You can make it crawl across the bottom if you drag it, or you can hop it and have it stand up like that in a defensive position, and that's when bass will just strike it. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the River to Sea Standing Yabby 100. So that's uh. That's it for this episode of Amazing Fishing. Thanks for watching. Um, please like, so comment, subscribe if you haven't already, please. Um, it really helps me out know what you guys like, what you don't like. Um, if you want me to do anything else, I think I'm going to carry on this this uh, underwater lures slash review. Uh, I kind of like doing it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more.